They'll cut us, strip us from our vitriol and human hurt and inexplicable aches, and fill our dumb mouths with something that tastes of asceticism, of a monk-like worship to the rigid paths of the stars melting holes in the sky. They'll inscribe the solar system into our palms, but remove the wonder, take away celestial awe and replace it with mathematics, strip off savagery and insert domestic habits instead. But most of all, they'll make us learn the predetermined orbits of the sky's populace, the number of rings of halo Saturn, and individualistic as we are, we'll oblige. We'll let our brains be replaced by an electric calendar, a GPS of sorts, telling us to, in 1.7 miles, make a U-turn on Jefferson Avenue where you will crawl into the shoulders of the city and forget the taste of your middle name. Then walk 5.9 miles and make a left where, and then the voice will cut off, leaving behind nothing but the sound of our own breathing, ragged and loose. We'll only have two minutes before they come to fix the malfunction, but we'll make the most of that time. Like, remove our elliptical lenses from our ghastly faces and rediscover the desire for the dynamism potent in another body, the thrilling sensation fleeting in our lungs. But within minutes, we'll be led back to the future, wildly, the same way goldfish run circles around plastic coral reefs, but still try to jump out of their bowls. Muddy lips still searching for the taste of brine.